He is known for being a Russian science fiction author and orientalist, with a particular interest in the medieval bureaucracy of China. Recognized as a frequent collaborator with science fiction director Konstantin Lopeshansky. He gained acclaim for his screenwriting for the films The Ugly Swans and Dead Man's Letters. His name is Vyacheslav Rybakov. In the vast world of science fiction literature, one name stands out as a legend, Vyacheslav Rybakov, a Russian author known for his captivating storytelling and deep knowledge of Oriental culture. His fascination with the medieval bureaucracy of China has shaped his unique perspective on the genre. Collaborating frequently with renowned science fiction director Konstantin Lopeshansky, Rybakov has left an indelible mark on the film industry as well. One of his notable accomplishments is his involvement in the screenwriting for the film, The Ugly Swans, based on the 1972 novel by Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. This collaboration showcased Rybakov's talent for adapting complex literary works into compelling visual narratives. The film captivated audiences with its thought-provoking storyline and visual aesthetics, earning critical acclaim and further solidifying Rybakov's reputation as a master storyteller. Another significant contribution to Rybakov's legacy is his screenplay for the film, Dead Man's Letters, in 1986. The film debuted at the Toronto Film Festival and received widespread praise for its exploration of post-apocalyptic themes. Rybakov's screenplay skillfully captured the depth of human emotions in a desolate world, earning him a governmental award of the RSFSR in 1987. This recognition highlighted his ability to craft narratives that resonate with audiences on an emotional level. Vyacheslav Rybakov's life and work exemplify the power of storytelling and the impact it can have on both literature and film. His collaboration with notable directors and his ability to adapt literary works into compelling screenplays have solidified his status as a legendary figure in the realm of science fiction. His profound understanding of Oriental culture and his unique perspective have enriched the genre, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to inspire future generations of storytellers. In his illustrious career, Vyacheslav Rybakov penned several remarkable works, each with its own unique perspective and captivating narrative. Among his early published novels were Fireplace on a Tower and Gravilyat Cesarevich, both of which garnered critical acclaim and prestigious awards. The latter, in particular, delved into an alternative world where the Russian Empire existed, and communism was merely a religion while our world was portrayed as an insane scientific experiment. One of Rybakov's most introspective works, The Death of Ivan Ilyich, provided a profound glimpse into the inner world of a contemporary individual on the brink of death. Through this poignant tale, he explored the depths of human existence and mortality, offering a thought-provoking reflection on life's meaning. In his novel, Na Budashi God v Mosque, Rybakov embarked on a narrative that depicted a fractured Russia, fragmented into small, impoverished nations. These countries were governed by idealistic individuals from the late Soviet Union who despised totalitarianism but failed to recognize the positive aspects of their own nation. In this intricate story, space was ruled by characters inspired by Darth's invaders, while a Russian rocket scientist named Ivan Abuenkin sought to revive his people's sense of nationalism. Rybakov's literary voice also championed the equality of cultures, emphasizing that restrictions within a culture should not be hastily dismissed as anti-democratic. In the face of encroaching Western civilization, he criticized the Russian mentality for its inclination to understand and agree with foreign perspectives. Instead, he argued that all civilizations possess unique qualities and that it may become necessary to rescue other cultures from stagnation, as a world governed by a single civilization holds no future. Furthermore, Rybakov collaborated with Igor Alamov on the work, There Are No Bad People, initially attributed to Holm van Zykik but later revealed as a hoax. This series transported readers to the fictional country of Ordis, a harmonious land that united the territories of China, Russia, and the Near East. Through this narrative, the authors painted a vivid picture of a humane and culturally rich society. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.